guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to After Van Life. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. So guys, today for my Sunday dinner, I am going to be making some turkey meatballs with, I haven't decided if I want brown gravy again or a white bechamel sauce. I do have everything that I need to make a white bechamel sauce and I probably do that because I just now had brown gravy. And I'm going to make it with some egg noodles. It almost looked like my ring light was going to fall off there. So we're going to get started here because it's kind of a lot to do. Not a lot, but enough. <clears throat> I'm going to get started with my uh, turkey meatballs. I have some ground turkey here. I'm just going to go ahead and crack two eggs in here. I also have some, <clears throat> excuse me, some seasoned panko crumbs, bread crumbs. I'm gonna crack those, crack those. I'm gonna put those in there. I don't know why I feel so uneasy today. Once again, back of the knife. Get a nice clean cut. Or break, I should say. One thing about one thing about doing cooking shows is that it's like no do-over. <laughs> Once you get going, <laughs> it's a wrap. You know, you just gotta suck it up and keep it moving. Um, I don't know exactly how much of this to put in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. I can always add more if I need it. Uh, what else I want to put in here? I'm actually going to throw a little bit of milk in here. Because I forgot to get my onions when I went to the grocery store again. By the way, I walked to the grocery store again today. And my experience was not as good as the first time because it was cold out there. And I forgot to wear my gloves. But I did walk nonetheless. So I'm hoping that this milk will take the place of the onions that I'm missing to help make it a little moist. Alright, I'm not even going to preheat my oven because last time I preheated my oven, that oven got so hot before I actually put those pork chops in there. And by the way, that was a hot mess about those pork chops. I put them pork chops back in that oven. I went back in my bedroom and got to fooling around on my laptop. Next thing I know, it's like, ah, I forgot the pork chops. The bad boy was brown is all I was doing. <laughs> I don't even think a horse could have chewed through those. All right, what else I need to put in here? Some salt and pepper. And I'm also going to put a little bit of, a little bit of uh, Larry's seasoned salt in there. That make it sound like I put, I'm putting double salt in there. I put salt in there and then turn around and say, I'm going to put some large seasoned salt in there. But it is what it is. One of the other things I like to put in all of my meats and chickens, no matter what I fix, is uh, some cumin. I guess the main key to these turkey meatballs is that they are well seasoned so that they can taste really, really good. Because this is the only time that you're going to be able to season. Because the egg noodles aren't going to have no season on them. The gravy is basically going to just have a little bit of pepper and nutmeg in it. So this is the only opportunity that I have to season this meal up. Alrighty, I'm just going to get in there with my hands and hopefully this will bind up really well. And hopefully I didn't put too much milk in there where it would make it not bind well. And I may have not feeling like that real sticky. You know how like you uh, do like flour and you start mixing it up and it gets a little 
thick. Now luckily, as long as I'm able to roll these in a little ball and set them on the tray, I don't have to move them or do anything else so they won't fall apart. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some more uh, breadcrumbs in there <clears throat> because they're not like... I want them to be. Oh, this ground turkey is cold. My hand is cold. All right, let's get this all mixed up well. Okay, it's starting to feel a little better. Yeah, there we go. We're getting there. It's starting to feel a little better. Maybe the milk was not a good idea because it just made it a little looser. And looser is not what I want this ground turkey to be. I want it to be nice and thick so that I can <clears throat> form the meatballs with. So I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I have three sisters. <laughs> sister number one, my youngest sister, she's my biggest candle fan. She buys a lot of my candles and <clears throat> she loves them. Well, I sent sister number two, my middle sister, some a candle, oh man, months ago. And she just getting back to me with her feedback on it. She said she told me months ago, but I don't remember. <clears throat> and she loved the candle. I sent her that oak moss and amber. And that was back when I was making the candles with color. So she remembered it being yellow, but not quite the name of it when I asked her which one. But I remember which one, which one I sent her. And she loves it. She called, she, she couldn't remember the name of the candle, so she just called the candle Anthony, my name. <laughs> and she said when she was telling her friends about it, the candle, she was just like, I'm telling you. And when I like Anthony, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony is smelling good. Well, she told uh, her daughter, my niece, about my candles. And my niece wanted some, so I sent her two candles. Okay, this is feeling like I wanted to feel. And I should be able to form the meatballs. I'm not even gonna turn. Okay, let me get this gook off my hand so that I can uh, put some oil in here. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not. Probably not. So my niece got the candles, uh, what's the day? She got them late last week. And my sister told me that she really likes them as well. And here's the kicker. Not a kicker, but here's the thing. My niece, according to, according to my sister, my niece has a huge presence on Facebook. My sister called me up yesterday. <laughs> she was so excited for me and she was like, you better get ready, you better make some candles because your niece has a, a, a huge presence on Facebook. A, a lot of the people, okay, I'm gonna have to do something with this. Let me see some, some water, hold on, hold on. Whenever you like, rolling up things like this this is what it looked like i'm so mad i forgot my onions uh, <clears throat> you gotta have a little water next to you because uh, otherwise it's gonna stick all to your hands like it just did and then i gotta keep washing my hands but if you dab your fingertips in a little bit of water then it won't stick see there we go so we're gonna knock these out right quick while I continue to tell y'all. So my niece has, uh, according to my sister, has a huge presence on Facebook. And she was like, you better get ready because once your niece put their um, candles on Facebook, that's gonna be a wrap because you're gonna get a lot of orders and this, that, and the other. And she was like, I was telling my friends, 
that I, I don't know how my brother gonna keep up with these orders and this that and the other. I was like, oh my gosh, she made me so nervous and scared. <laughs> Ooh, these some big meatballs. I better, I better make these bad boys a little smaller. Well, I ain't first of all, I ain't gonna have enough room in this pan. But yeah, she was, um, she was like. You off all this week. You should be making some candles and all this stuff. I was like, oh my goodness, this is like a little bit overwhelming for me. But and I did, I did hop right online. You know, sometimes I need to slow down and think before I act on it. I act on a lot of things, and when I should just take a step back and think about it. And she was like, you should be making some candles this week. You off all week, and this, that, and the other. But then I stepped back. I did I did hop right online. This was out of impulse without thinking first. I did hop right back. Oh, that meatball is too big. I got to cut that down. I did hop right back online and uh, bought some more of uh, my three best selling candles so that I can at least have some more of those. But I still don't have no jars or I have a little bit of wax left. Alright, this is taking up too much space. Ah, yeah, yeah. Once again with my Lord trays. Alrighty, I don't think I'm going to get... That meatball right there is so huge. <laughs> and you want your meatballs to be relatively the same size so that they can have the same cooking time. But mines are clearly, clearly uneven. <laughs> But this is what I've been trying to tell you guys the whole time. I don't, uh, you guys don't listen. Who that sound like? Who I sound like when I told you, when I said that? You guys don't listen. <laughs> I don't want a huge Facebook following because I cannot make enough candles to handle that. This is what I've been saying to you guys all along. All of you guys who've been saying, get on Facebook, get on eBay, do this, do that. And I'm spitting out my mouth for some damn reason. <laughs> do all of that. I, I don't have the ability to, to keep up with that kind of candle making. It's just me. I have a full-time job. You know? I don't have... The ability to handle that and that's why I rather okay they look a lot better now <laughs> that's why I rather have a word of mouth type of situation rather than a social media type of deal I mean what if she put that put my uh, candle page on her Facebook and I get a hundred two hundred orders or something I ain't got them kind of candles on tap. <laughs> you know, come on. I'm being real with it, for real. I'm being real with it. My my ability to make enough candles is through word of mouth. So, she gonna talk to my sister. My sister gonna talk to my niece today. I got a little bit of this stuff left. And guess what? And I'll, I'll make this one a little bigger. She's going to talk to my niece today, <clears throat> and I told her to tell my niece, look, don't be putting me out on no Facebook just yet. I'd rather my niece just tell her immediate friends first, and I'd rather my sister, because my sister, she has Bible classes every week. I'd I rather she tell... Hold that thought. Hold that thought, Anthony. I'd rather she tell, you know, just word of mouth and let. That did not go in that trash can. It went right on the top. Just word of mouth. That meatball still look huge and out of place. And I can't take it. You know how something you look at it visually, it just looks. Yes, I threw some of the meatloaf. Like, some of the uh, <laughs> thing away. <laughs> Cause I know somebody gonna say, Anthony don't be throwing no food away. It was a little tiny bit. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna put these in the oven. I turned my oven on just now. It should have been on. <clears throat> They're at 350. 
Now I'm gonna get these egg noodles in here and then start working on these uh <clears throat> this sauce. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't need that kind of huge impact. I need a, a small impact at a time. I'm keep, I keep trying to tell you guys. I understand y'all want me to be successful, but you also I have to also be I also have to be realistic about what I can produce and what I cannot produce. All right, let's get these egg noodles rolling. Actually, let's put them over here. So, I don't know. I just don't want to be overwhelmed to the point where I have people waiting on a candle for like a month or so. I told my sister that it takes at least two weeks, maybe two and a half to three weeks for me to make, okay, make a new batch of candles because they have to sit for at least two weeks before being lit. All of that kind of stuff, but we'll see. All right, let's get to working on this sauce. It's dead going stove when they come on. It's just like, you can lose some eyebrows for real. Let me put some more water. put some oil in there because y'all know those things gonna stick together you know pasta pasta sticks together Ooh, that might have been too much oil all right let's get that rolling so <laughs> we'll see how it goes but I got online, I bought some more of the fragrance oil, the um, oak moss and amber. That's the one my sister loves the most. I also bought some honeydew melon and some raspberry sangria. Because I believe they're going to be the best selling ones. <clears throat> Along with the April Downy Fresh, but that's from another... from another uh, supplier. I buy my supplies from so many different candle supply companies. And I wasn't gonna just buy one from, you know, pay shipping to have one cent, so. All right, I have a stick of margarine on he in here. Once that margarine is melted, I'm going to add some flour and some milk. Now, I watched a video on how to make this bechamel sauce, as I have many times. Every, every time I go to make this, I, make it, I watch a video and learn something different about how to make it. But <clears throat> they're going to use a combination of a whisk, and a regular spoon. So she said to melt your butter first. She was like, when your butter is all the way melted, add your flour. So we're going to see how this tastes. I made this before with uh, for you guys, I believe. I don't know whether it was on this channel or the cooking channel that I had. I think it was on the cooking channel that I had. Yeah. But anywho, I'm just rambling on. So I stopped, I stopped myself from buying more jars, more wax, and I wish I would have stopped myself before I even bought the uh, freight, the oils, because I want to start selling my candles first before I continue to spend more money. 
I rather for if she's going to put me on Facebook and I sell all the candles that I have first make some money so I can stop using my own money out of my own wallet to buy the supplies to keep continuing to make the candles so I'm changing my approach a lot because I want to start making some money before I start keep on spending my money all right this margarine is just about melted now I don't even know how much flour to put in here this is some all-purpose flour all right Ooh. Poof. <laughs> so the whole idea to make sure it's not turned up too high Now the whole idea with this is to mix all this up. I hope I didn't put too much flour in there for the amount of margarine that I put in there. Ooh, okay, this got, this got together quick. It's to mix all this up. Now this is one of the keys that she said that I've never done the couple times that I made a bechamel. She said at this point, as you can see, it's all kind of doughied up. Now, this is what she said. She said, turn the heat off, add just a little bit of milk, then whisk this together. Now, once again, I don't know exactly how much milk in there, but then she said, whisk this together. And I'm gonna tell you why. I don't know why I'm talking all loud. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. This looks like mashed potatoes. I'm going to tell you why she, uh, what she claimed doing it this way will do. Alright. She claims by doing it this way and then adding the rest of your milk in there. She claims that this will stop your sauce from getting lumps in it. So I'm going to add the rest of my milk in here. Because I do want enough sauce to uh, cover my meatballs in. So then she said, turn it back on. Well, wow, let's do a little stir here. I don't know. I forgot when she said use that regular spoon. I don't know. I forgot. All right. Let me get this together. She claims that this will stop it from <clears throat> lumping up. But I see lumps. <laughs> I see lumps. I see lumps. Maybe I didn't do it right. All right. Let's turn it back on. Turn it all low. And let's add some stuff in here. I got some nutmeg. Once again, I don't know how much to put in there. Oh, I can feel it thickening up already. And I usually put some brown, um, some brown. I usually put some pepper, some pepper in mine too. Now eventually this should, just because it's flour, this should automatically start to thicken up. Unless I have way too much liquid in ratio to the flour, which I don't think, because I think I put plenty of flour in there. Oh, guess what? It's not clumping up. It really isn't. That's great. Unless I can't see them. All right. Of course, you know, with this kind of sauce, you got to continue to stir it. I see a little. Actually, I don't see no clunks anymore. Let me see. I don't. She was right. By gosh, she was right. All right, let me get a, a fork so I can make sure my noodles don't stick. 
Alrighty, so far so good. The noodles are not sticking. All that oil I put in there, them bad boys shouldn't be sticking. <laughs> so guys, this is what I this is where I am right now. I got my noodles going on. I got my turkey meatballs in the oven now. And I'm working on this uh, white bechamel sauce. And once this sauce sticking up a little bit more, I'm going to come back to you guys and show you where I am. So I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, we are on the final stretch of this Sunday's dinner. I'm about to take these meatballs out and put them in their sauce and let them finish cooking in the sauce. They should be relatively done by now. And uh, check out my sauce, guys. It is so creamy and so thick. Look at that. Nice. It's, it might be a little too thick, I don't know. But anyway, let's keep it moving here. I'm gonna get my meatballs out. I've already put some more um, oil on the uh, egg noodles so that they won't uh, stick together. But let's uh, move them there. Put them there. Turn that off. Oh yeah, they look really good. Just in case you can't see from all the way over there, there they are. The meatballs. I'm going to put them in here. And I'm going to do this as swiftly as possible. talk a little bit about this sauce because I made a boo-boo and I tried to straighten it out very good very good I'm gonna mix all these meatballs in here and then I'm gonna tell you guys about my little boo-boo that I made and hopefully I was able to correct it. Right. <clears throat> I got the uh, heat on really, really low. And I'm going to let them go ahead and cook just a little bit. Or I should say simmer just a little bit. Alright, let me tell you what I did with this sauce. I made a mistake and put a little bit too much nutmeg in there and it kind of overpowered the taste of the sauce so i tried to balance it out by putting some uh, more pepper in there and a little more seasonings in there and i think i got it to a fine line but not like it should be so <clears throat> it was a mistake so be careful how much nutmeg you put in if you attempt to make this bechamel just a little bit goes a long way um, it may need to simmer for another 15, 20 minutes to try to uh, settle it down, but we'll see. Now guys, it is early in the day. I decided to cook early today to get it out the way. So I'm not going to be plating up anything and tasting it. I will let you guys know in my next video, at the beginning of my next video, uh, how this actually came out. I just wanted to let you guys know about that sauce. Um, it's not the best sauce that I made. I think I, last time I made this bechamel, it came out a lot better than the one today. So once again, just be careful how much uh, nutmeg you put in there. Alright, but on that note, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys for taking a few moments out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate it. And at the end of this video, I uh, will put a clip or picture, I should say, of my food plated up. Alright guys, have a great weekend and I'll see you the next time.